Continuing from my previous video about testing low RAW communication using serial, in this video I will try to implement transparent transmission using the ESP8266. In this transmission, you can send message to all device of same configured address and channel. The first step is to set the parameters for each low RAW module using the RF setting software from eBuy. Set the address and channel, ensuring that the settings are the same for all low RAW modules. For a more detailed guide on setting parameters, you can watch my previous video. Here is the wiring between the LoRa and the ESP8266. I connected the TX and RX from the LoRa to pins D5 and D6. Additionally, I used an extra 5 volts power supply to connect to the LoRa. Connect the RX and TX pins from the LoRa to 3 volts using a 4.7 kilom resistor. For the other LoRa module, I am still using serial to USB, just like in the previous video. Here is the Arduino IDE code for reading and writing serial data to the LoRa using pins D5 and D6 on the ESP8266 and displaying the received messages on the serial monitor. Let's try sending and receiving messages from the serial monitor. Open the serial monitor in the Arduino IDE and make sure the port is correct. For the other LoRa module, since it uses serial to USB, I am using the Hercules application to send and receive messages. We can see that messages can be sent from Hercules and received on the Arduino IDE serial monitor. Conversely, when a message is sent from the serial monitor, it will be received in the Hercules application. This shows that communication can be established between LoRa modules, whether connected to a serial to USB adapter or using the ESP8266. Next, I replace the one connected to the serial adapter with another ESP8266, so now all the LoRa modules are connected to ESP8266. Now, let's test the communication between the LoRa modules connected to the ESP8266. Open two Arduino instances and open the serial monitor for each, ensuring they correspond to the ports of the ESP8266 connected to computer. In this experiment, with the previously created code and the LoRa modules connected to the ESP8266, the LoRa modules can successfully communicate with each other, sending and receiving messages. Besides using simple code with the software serial library, we can also utilize the eByte E32 library to write Arduino IDE code for LoRa communication. Install the library from the Library Manager by searching for eByte and clicking Install on the eByte LoRa E32 library. After installing the library, we can use the example codes provided by the library. For transparent transmission, select the Send Receive Transparent Transmission Message example. Next, edit the code according to the RX and TX pins you are using. In this video, I'm using pins D5 and D6, which correspond to pins 14 and 12. Next, upload the same code to all LoRa modules. Next, Let's test the communication between the LoRa modules connected to the ESP8266 using the eByte E32 library. Open two Arduino instances and then open the serial monitor for each instance, corresponding to the ports of the ESP8266 connected to your computer. In this experiment, using the eByte E32 library, the LoRa modules can successfully communicate with each other, sending and receiving messages. However, it's true that writing the code without using the E32 library might be simpler in terms of programming complexity. In the next experiment, I'll add an LED to the setup. In this code, every time a LoRa message is received, the LED will toggle its state, from on to off or vice versa, and the message test will be sent back through LoRa. This setup allows both LoRa modules to exchange messages, indicated by the LED blinking continuously during ongoing communication. Here is the wiring diagram for the ESP and LoRa with an added LED. Don't forget to include a resistor for the LED. In the serial monitor, you'll observe that when one LoRa module sends a message, the other LoRa module receives it. 
Subsequently, the receiving module will toggle the status of its LED, turn it on or off, and then send a reply message, typically test. The first LoRa module will then receive this reply, toggle its LED, and send another test message. This continuous exchange demonstrates how messages can be sent continuously between LoRa modules without interruption, allowing you to test the sustained communication capabilities of the LoRa setup. In this experiment with the added LED, we can observe that communication between two LoRa modules using ESP8266 runs smoothly. Each time one LoRa module sends a message, the other module receives it, responds by toggling the LED status, and then sends a reply message. This process continues continuously, demonstrating stable communication capabilities between the two LoRa modules. With this setup, we can test how messages can be sent and received continuously without interruption in a LoRa network. This showcases significant potential in long-range communication applications using LoRa technology, especially when combined with microcontrollers like the ESP8266 for effective control and monitoring. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.